And the Olivier goes to Ruth Wilson. I did not expect that. Um, it's such an honor to be nominated amongst such an amazing group of women. So this is very special. And there's one person I really have to thank, um, and it's Rob Ashford, who, you're my lucky charm, Rob. Um, it's the second time I've worked with you, and the second time I've won Olivier. That means something. And um, not only that, you always cast a harem of gorgeous, hunky men for me to act opposite. <laughs> so it makes my life very easy. <laughs> Um, but no, thank you. This is a huge honour and we treasured for a long time, forever. Thank you. And the winner for Best Actor is... Benedict Cumberbatch and Johnny Lee Miller. Um, goodness me, a Benedict can't be here. Um, sorry, ladies and and guys. <laughs> uh, wow, I'm just I'm just gonna I wrote some things down in case because I'm not as cool as Ruth Wilson. Um, yes, myself and Benedict would like to thank you for this extraordinary honour. Um, we'd like to thank everyone at the National Theatre. It's an amazing place to work. I, I can't say enough about it. I thank you to Nicholas Heitner and the entire staff at the National. It's a magical place. I can't wait to get back there. Um, the cast of Frankenstein. Um, there's a lot of talk about you know, sharing a role and, and um, what it means to two actors to do that. It also means a lot to the whole company. They had to basically learn two versions of a play. I thank everyone for their, for their hard work and their support. It was extraordinary. Um, I'd like to thank our stage management at the Olivier, led by David Marsland, the wigs and makeup, a special mention to Helen and Abby, who did the creature makeup every night. Um, it was quite a job. Um, I'd like to thank Suter at the costumes, Toby Sedgwick, our, our movement coach, um, Mark Tildesley, our incredible set designer, um, Bruno Poet for the lighting, and Underworld and Ed Clark for the sound and music. And by the way, I forgot to say this earlier, but if you get Bruno Poet, uh, doing the lights and Underworld and Ed Clark doing the sound and music during your technical rehearsal, you can have a 10 minute rave. And we did. <laughs> um, I'd also like to thank Nick Deer for his extraordinary reimagining of Mary Shelley's story, uh, telling it from the creature's point of view. Um, I just thought it was a wonderful and involving way to tell that story. Um, but the, the biggest mention has to go to Danny Boyle, um, whose leadership. Um, who's bringing together this, so many elements and, and such a weird way of doing you know, stuff with two actors in the leading roles. It was just extraordinary. So this is for Danny. Thanks very much. <laughs> 